Welcome back. Investigators say we'll likely never know why 20-year-old Jonathan Safferman walked into the Greenwood Park Mall and shot and killed three people. Today, Greenwood Police laid out the results of their month-long investigation, which also revealed more about the shooter himself than his motive. Fox 59's Max Lewis explains what they found. When Safferman walked into the mall that July afternoon, police say his life was collapsing. He had been cut off financially from his family and was getting ready to be evicted. While they can't say for sure that's the reason, they say his social media use revealed he posted he would never make it past 20, and if he killed himself, he'd take others with him. And that's exactly what happened. New photos show Jonathan Zapperman walking into the Greenwood Park Mall on July 17th before committing a deadly rampage. He went into the men's restroom where he waited for an hour before dropping his cell phone in a toilet and then murdering three people. There is no clear motive as to why the shooter committed this crime or why he chose the time and place to do it. Police were able to recover Zapperman's cell phone, but say the FBI is still working to crack the phone's passcode. Investigators weren't able to look through his laptop after it was badly damaged when he put it in his oven with a butane tank and it exploded. However, police were able to access his phone records and internet history. From 2017 to 2022, the shooter made over 700 comments on subreddits related to mass killers. Today, police revealed that in 2019, the FBI received tips about comments Zapperman made online, but they couldn't trace it directly to him at the time. Police were able to locate images Zapperman posted online about an hour before the shooting, showing him holding a gun to his head. I believe the caption was, name is Jonathan and it's a good day to die. Police did extensive interviews with Zapperman's relatives and former girlfriend. She described the shooter as, very un as a very unhappy person. She stated that, she had a, that he had a fascination with Nazi Germany, firearms, and drugs. She informed investigators that the shooter was abusive towards her on several occasions, and once even stuck a gun in her mouth during an argument. Chief Jim Eisen said Zapperman had a rough childhood, in and out of foster homes, run-ins with police, and even homelessness. But Eisen said there was never an indication that he could have committed such an act. But Eisen said there was never an indication that he could have committed such an act. But Eisen said there was never an indication that could have committed such an act. But Eisen said there was never an indication he could have committed such an act.